All right, guys, we are headed off to get some crawfish. We got T-Roy here. We got Mr. Harry Sue in the back seat with the cinema camera. So just a three-way three -way lens going from this to this. So super easy to shoot videos with. So if you guys are on a budget like me, uh, this, that's the setup because it also makes phone calls. It takes text messages <laughs> No <too>. way. <laughs> you have a camera that makes phone calls? <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, we picked a great day to go because there's 0% chance of rain. So I'm assuming they mean after the rain stops. <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay, so Troy, we're gonna go pick up this crawfish. Yeah. Is there something people need to keep in mind when they're buying crawfish? Get it from Louisiana and make sure it's live. Live Louisiana crawfish. So dead crawfish is a bad thing. You don't want to eat dead crawfish. <laughs> no. So, so they sell it. You said they sell it by the bag. By the sack. By the sack. Okay. Yeah. See, or, I know. Or I know. By the pan. Yeah. They, I just buy it by the sack because it's cheaper. And uh, right now, I think it's running 325 or 335 a pound, and there are give or take 32 to 38 pounds per sack. Okay. So we're going to get one and a half sacks, 45 pounds. One and a half sacks. All right. So for people who are trying to have a party, what's your guidance in terms of how much and how many people? For your normal average Joe, it's going to be about three pounds of crawfish per person. And if you really like crawfish, like the Cajuns do, is you can consider about five pounds per person. Per person. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of, uh, sounds like a, a lot of crawfish, but yeah, I guess so. it's all shell, right? So five pounds of crawfish will yield maybe, what, eight ounces of meat at the yeah, end? Yeah, it's like buying beef ribs. You know, you get a lot of bone in the weight and not a lot of meat. Okay. So, <laughs> so what happens if, um, like, okay, so this is the day of the, of the boil, right? Right. If you're going to, I mean, does everybody pick them up like that? Or, I mean, what do you do if you get it early? Uh, yeah. You have to keep it in a damp, cool place environment like I just, I just put mine in my tub and run some water on the, on the sack every once in a while okay uh, they need to be in a dark cool damp place to keep them alive and uh, I wouldn't I, I've, I've gone and got them the day before and it worked out fine but I wouldn't get them a week before you know I say if you go on two or three days you're probably pushing it to try to keep them alive you know the longer they sit the they're gonna die that makes sense because once you take them out of the swamp or the bayou or the river uh, in their normal habitat, they don't live very long. And then dead, we're back to dead cat, dead catfish. Dead crawfish are not, not ideal. No, no. <laughs> you, you know, we, we, yeah, you'll see later on if you, if you notice. We'll be plucking out the ones that are dead because you will get a few dead ones in the sack. Mm -hmm. And how do you tell? Just they're not moving. Right. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Now, what about like purging, purging the mud from the mud bugs? They, yeah, they live in the mud, so you do have to purge them, which simply means. Uh, washing them, give them a nice little bath in some uh, running cool, cold water. Uh, and just keep running the water through them and drain that water off and just keep putting fresh water on them and draining it off until the water runs clear. That makes sense. I'm gonna stop recording here because it's like all this 0% chance of rain is getting kind of loud. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. Happy to be here, man. Hang out with my buds from, uh, you know, Austin here. Yeah, very happy you can make it, man. Even though it's a short stay, yeah. sometimes the, the short ones are the ones that are you know, even more memorable. We're coming up True. on the store here, guys. So this is it? This is it. Right here on the corner here. Over here. Here we go. You're stuffed. Cajun. Here it is. What perfect spot right here. Right up front, baby. I think we're in the right spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They don't look happy. No. <laughs> they don't like being cramped up in small quarters like that. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't want to be that close to you guys. <laughs> no offense. I mean, you're wonderful people. <laughs> 35. So that's 35, so that's 10 pounds. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. So here. a sack has 35 pounds. Is that always the case, or 30, is that just this place? 32 to 38 usually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So it depends on how, many, you know, how big the crawfish are, is how many they can fit in there. So this is a sack and a bag? <laughs> yeah, and partial sack. Got it. Partial sack. Got it.
All right, so Troy's gonna walk us through this. What, what do we got going on here? What are the, what do you need to do with crawfish boil here? I got uh, I got a 100, 100 quart pot, or as Harry Sue says, 25 gallons. 25 gallons. <laughs> yeah. I uh, got a strainer in here. You can easily pull out the seafood. Fill it up about halfway because when you add the seafood, it's gonna make the water rise. Uh, displacement of the water. I've got these sitting on propane burners. Both of these are jet burners. I'm fixing to light one of them. And folks, I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. <laughs> How many BTUs do you need to do something? Do you even know? Do I don't I know the BTUs, the but I know I've got one of those uh, regular catfish fryer or turkey fryer burners. It looks like a stove burner. Uh -huh. Those don't put out enough BTUs. Okay. Because when you add the seafood, you want to the seafood's going to cool the water down. You need to bring it up to a boil, add the seafood. It's going to drop the temperature of the water. So you need to bring the water back up to a boil as quickly as possible. Okay. So you need as much horsepower from that propane burner as you can get. That's why I've got jet burners on here. <laughs> Heats it up pretty doggone. Afterburners? Quick. Afterburners, yeah. yeah. We'll fix some light one if you That's want to awesome. check it out. So you have two of them? Is it just because you're cooking a lot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know if there was like a method to that. <laughs> no, not really. Get down here. If I fall in the pool, y'all come get me. <laughs> Harry, you you Harry, I'll jump in and get you. When it comes up to a boil, I'll start adding the seafood mix, the, uh, the boil mix. Seasonings. Okay. How long do you think it'll take to get up to a boil? Half hour or so. Half hour? Yeah. Cool. We'll be back in a half hour. Brother James got a new gimbal. How do you like it? Uh, well, I'm still getting used to it. I've only This is only the second time I've used it. So, um, so far I like it. You look like good. a pro. It's not dangling precariously like it was earlier. Yeah, good thing your camera wasn't on. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough to catch it. <laughs> but I got it fixed. Wait here, I see these guys. Are they are they just taking a bath or yeah, yeah, are they, they in the sauna here? Well, they live in the mud. So what I'm doing, I'm rinsing the mud off of them. That's what they call purging the crawfish. Okay. Yeah. You rinse them in water, let them swim around for a few minutes and then drain that water off and then fill the water back up, let them swim around again, do that two or three times, drain the water until the water runs clear and then we can put them in the boil. But these are these are pre-purged, right? Yeah, these are, but I still like to purge them anyway. As okay. You, as you could tell if you looked earlier, the water was still pretty dirty. Was it? Yeah. So how many times How many times are we gonna do this, the purging uh, part? Probably two or three times until the water runs clear. Oh. And, that, and that keeps them from tasting like dirt? Yes, it does. Yeah, because <laughs> if you leave the mud on there and don't purge them, then your boil, the water and stuff's gonna be muddy and it's yeah. gonna get that mud flavor in the crawfish. You know, I think I could use a purge right now. I've been out here, it's kind of sweaty. Well, pool's right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Bessie? Of what? Crawfish. Are you a I'm fan? I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Yes, the first time that I tried it, it was uh, Troy's. Yeah. Like, was it like two years ago? Two, three years, yeah. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> We're ready. For you guys that don't know, this is Dressy Bessie. Bessie and Dressy. And Bessie, Bessie, Dressy. Dressy, Dressy. I'm Bessie. sorry, Bessie. Right. <laughs> sorry Bessie about Dressy. that. <laughs> I should know that. She has like, what is it, like 10 billion views, or 10 billion subscribers now? 10 billion subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> Only half that? <laughs> a lot. She's got a lot of subscribers. So. She has a ton. 1.5 She's got a few. 1.5 million? Wow, it's yeah. crazy. Okay. 80,000 so, when I met you. Oh, it's crazy. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you come a long way. So, so, yeah. so when our channel grows up, we want to be her channel yeah right? <laughs> yeah you are our inspiration so there you go i think i'm gonna start doing uh makeup and hair and clothing and stuff like that you think so you can do it yeah i, I don't know. know can you speak spanish no uh, I, i'll uh who was it talking about modeling underwear i may do that <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay. yeah i, okay. I can see that yeah. i can see that <laughs> yeah <laughs> You, you, it might be hard, hard to unsee it after you see it. Oh, I know, I know. It's a one-way street. Once you it see is. it, you cannot unsee it, right? So, <laughs> uh, you um, guidelines. Say hi. Hey. Oh, you ditched the gimbal. Hola. I ditched the gimbal right now. <laughs> that took <laughs> that took five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that works good. There's works my good. gimbal. Absolutely. And you can flip it around really easy, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Troy, what are we doing now? fixing to season up the water for the crawfish while the crawfish are purging. Okay. I got a four and a half pound sack of this pre-made 
crawfish boil mix. I'm gonna add that. This is four and a half pounds is good for one sack. But I like to season it up a little further. So we're going in with this. So is this gonna be really spicy? Uh, it depends on how long you let them soak. The longer they soak, the spicier they get. <coughs> Don't inhale that, folks. It's dangerous. <laughs> one and a half pound of mix. Coffee boil mix. Yeah. Got, got it. Got a full bottle of this concentrated liquid crab oil. So we're going to go in with a full bottle of this. Shake it up real good first. Is that the hot stuff? Or is it all hot? It's all hot, man. That, uh, the powder has cayenne powder and some salt. <coughs> Probably some lemon extract, stuff like that in there. Now, to make your uh, seafood peel easily, get the shell from the meat, you need to add some vinegar. What I like to do, I like to add some Louisiana hot sauce. That gives it a little bit of extra kick and adds the vinegar. We're going in with a full bottle of this. This is a 12 ounce. Is that how the experts do it right there? That's how the experts do it, man. I forgot it had the little lid thing on there. Little cap. Now I've got two of these bags of this, uh, these, I'll show you one of them real quick. It's just these little boil bags, they call them. This has uh, coriander and mustard seed and bay leaf, uh, allspice, clove. It's got all kind of cool stuff in there. I'm going to use two of these. I already put one in there. We're going in with the second one. Now, next. I like to add a little bit of extra salt. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You know, when you're doing the boil, you do it yourself. It's just how I do it. I use uh, this regular iodized salt. This is a... Uh, 26 ounces. Yeah, 26 ounces. We're going in about half of this. Is that good for your heart, for your blood pressure? Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key. I mean, if you're if you're trying to lose some weight and you know you're you're uh, you're you're really worrying about your health, yeah. Go ahead and use the full. Salt's the key. <laughs> salt is the key. Use the full thing. Okay. Okay. Right, next thing, I got a little extra kick. We're gonna throw some cayenne pepper. Now, this is a four ounce. I'm gonna use about two ounces. So about half of this bar bottle right here. Going about half a bottle of cayenne. That looks good. It's no exact measurement. You just kind of go with the flow, whatever you feel like doing. Now, since I've got more than one sack, I'm going to throw in an extra small bag of this powder boil. So, we've got 45 pounds of crawfish. I'm going to go in with another little small bag here. I think this is like a 16 ounce or something. Let me see. Yeah, 16 ounce. Same stuff we use with the big bag. Now you got to stir the pot. Use that with your canoe? Yeah. My Piro. <laughs> My Piro in the swamp. Yeah, absolutely. Give that a nice stir. Get the, get the powdered seasoning dissolved in the water really good. Let this boil for maybe 10 minutes, and then we'll start adding some of the veggies and the lemons and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a particular order you add this stuff in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to go through that here in a second? Yeah. Awesome. These are all the veggies and a little bit of lemons. You got potatoes, you got garlic, you got onion, and the lemon. I think I already said the lemon. So this is going to be what's going in to start cooking. All right. Cool. Soaking up all the good flavor. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. Going in. Let it burn you. Oh yeah. We'll let it go for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll add some more stuff. What comes in next? This softer stuff like the artichoke, the corn, um, what else I have? Uh, I, I got some other stuff, I forget. Right, we'll see it, we'll see it. Yeah, just add what you want, you know? <laughs> the hard veggies go first, softer veggies go second. Who's 
this? Hello, um, my name is Bill. Okay, that's the cutest thing. And I'm the cutest puppy. Absolutely. And I'm so fluffy. What's your name? Bill. 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 From Beauty and the Beast? Bill. Yes. Oh, wow. She's my beauty. That's awesome. So does, it, does that make you the beast? Yep. <laughs> All right, so we just added the corn and some artichokes with the tops cut off. Let that artichoke absorb a lot of that flavor from the top. And uh, we're gonna let that go about another seven, 10 minutes. Can we get a shot of that? Oh see? yeah, yeah. That's your steam. That's hot. That's definitely hot. <laughs> definitely hot, definitely. It's awesome, they're not any good to eat. Really? Wow. Jailbreak. 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 Jailbreaker. 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 He's getting out of there. He's not moving at all. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a posing for me. Look at that. He's flexing. Are you flexing his biceps? He is. You want, you want some? You want some? Come get some. Oh, I'm going to choose. Yeah. Here he goes. Here he goes. He does all three points. Yeah. Uh, looks like you're about to Okay, troll. Put the rest in the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Back it up. Man, I need to talk. Yo, to you, check man. check this out. We got the dog father in the What's house. What's going on? <laughs> I don't think we met before. No, we had. You were just, sick last time, man. Just, I know. Yeah, I, yeah. I had bronchitis. I had bronchitis. It's all good. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> all right, Troy. What are we doing now? Well, we just put the crawfish in, and what we got to do now is bring it up to a boil. Because when you put those crawfish in, it stops the water from boiling. So we've got the the propane burners are cranked up really good, really high. When it comes back up to a boil. I'm gonna start a timer. We're gonna go three, four minutes, and then we're gonna shut the fire off, let the crawfish soak for 20, 30 minutes or until it gets spicy enough for you. The longer they soak, the spicier they're gonna be. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, sorry, got off the Awesome. So we're just warming these up, right? We're just putting sausage in long enough to get them hot. We're not cooking them, right? They're already cooked, yeah. They're already cooked. We just need to warm them up. Plus, some of that grease will drip out of them and flavor the water, which flavors the crawfish. That makes sense. Yeah. You guys check, out to, check out who's here. It's Tom, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, everybody. Tom, if, and it, here's the good thing about our channels. If you ever forget the name of our channels, you can just look at our shirts. Just look at our shirts. All right, so we brought it up to a boil for... Yep. Three to five minutes, something like that. It boiled for three minutes, and I shut it off because I didn't catch when it started boiling. Okay. So I just figured save three minutes. So then we're just gonna let this rest for 20, 20 or 30. I'll check. Yeah, I'll have some of the some of the ladies check it and see how spicy it is after about 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and then we'll go from there. You know, if it needs some more spiciness to the ladies, I'll let it soak some more. If they're ready, I'll pull some out for them. I'll let it keep soaking for us guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the ladies. You're a tough guy, right? It's for the late for the for the for the ladies. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm a tough guy. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Hotter the better. Macho man. Hotter the better. There you go. You don't happen to have some milk or anything? I do. All right. All right. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Hotter the better. <laughs> well, I just added some cauliflower right here. Okay. Cauliflower. I added some mushrooms. And I added shrimp. And the water is the boil is off right now, so the shrimp are going to just cook, and these other veggies are just going to sit there and soak up some of that goodness. And uh, finish cooking. Yeah, that smells, that smells so good. It's gonna be good. Y'all hang on. <laughs> uh, we added some andouille sausage from uh, Texas Sausage Company. Scott provided that. I'm gonna add some ice. And what this ice is gonna do, it's gonna chill that water, and that's gonna make the crawfish and everything else in here just absorb all of that good uh, crawfish crab boil stuff. Stir it around. Just kinda, what you wanna do is kinda chill the water down as quickly as you can. And once these crawfish start sinking, then they're absorbing all the uh, Cajun liquids that are in here. Yeah, it's fine. We're checking for spiciness. Thanks, Jane. Better? Is that spicy? No. Not spicy, but has more salt flavor yeah, to it. A little bit more yeah. flavor than okay. this yeah. one. Yeah. Alright, so I'll add that back to this and stir it up. Let it soak yeah. some more. Yeah. Let yeah. Yeah. Soak. yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, oh, only been like, it's only been like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, so. no, they're good. They're good. All right, thank y'all. Yeah. That's what you call draining the pot before you dump it. <laughs> it seems like it's probably an important part. It is. Yeah, because you don't want to get all that hot juice all over the table, man. 
little bit less. Trick. It's you too, man. <laughs> just like a shot. Got the dog father and wife here. Yeah. 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 Jean. Jean. Not the dog mama. Not the dog mama. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to show us exactly how to peel a crawfish. All right. So what you're going to do is you are going to, I stretch the tail out a little bit so I have some purchase here. Yeah. You're going to twist it right there. Yep. And if you twist it right, all this stuff stays inside. Okay. And then what I do is I take one of the... I don't know what these are called, but you're trying to break these off to Is release that the tail? Uh, yeah, you have, you got the tail in your hand, and so you've got these different segments in the tail, and so you're trying to catch the segments, and if you catch the segments just right, you'll get these legs too that'll come off, and it'll open up to the meat. So you're gonna open up just a little bit of it, and then what you do is you pinch right here. And if you pinch right there, and you've got like two segments off, you should be able to peel it right out. Nice. The last thing you want to do is this is the poo line. Uh -huh. So you're just going to catch that just like that. Let's get rid of the poo line. And get rid oh, of your yeah. poo line. And there you then go. you're set to go. That's awesome. I'm going to try this. Sure, go for it. I don't see where my Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really good. You did good. a good job on it. Thanks, Gene. So there you go. That. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. All right, guys. Gretchen and Josh here from Cast. What is it? Cast, Cast strength, strength, yeah. Cast strength, yeah. You guys do whiskey reviews and tours and stuff like that? Yeah, whiskey reviews, do distillery tours and interviews. Uh, it's a whole whiskey community, so, yeah. Okay, what do you guys think of the crawfish? It <laughs> is phenomenal. It is hot. It's spicy. spicy hot, yeah, it's great. See, I'm a, I, I grew up in New Orleans. I'm a Louisiana boy, so this is oh. perfect for me. <laughs> I'm right at home, man. It's like ice cream for you. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we're winding this up. It's the, uh, end. it's the end of the crawfish boil. As you can see, we ate everything. There's nothing left over. That's, no. that's not true. James is over there shooting the live stream. Yeah. As if we don't know. What'd you guys think? Was it good? There's, it was thing. glorious, but there's there's only pounds of food left. Only pounds. Only pounds. Yes, that's it. What'd you think, Johnny? All right, let me tell you what. I think I might blow up if I had another crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Troy, I thought the crawfish was really good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I thought it was really sweet. Had a good flavor. Very tender. Very fresh. You're a great host. Appreciate, Appreciate it. That. Thanks for coming, man. Yep. Yep. Great. Scott, great sausage. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. That on Dewey was Had freaking good. amazing. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Good. I'm Texas glad y'all liked it. Yeah. Right. Glad Thank everybody you. liked it. Yeah, we did. We Take did. Care. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on this one. I'm going to pull this around here. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. 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 Bye. Cheers. Bye.